Right, hello everyone, hello and welcome to technically a double let's try. I'm of course Immortal Mark. Uh, the reason this is a double let's try, yes Austin Powers by Tarantula, uh, basically because they are both the same game effectively, but opposite sides of the coin. So you've got Fabdos, Fab Modular Bios, so this is like taking the piss. Let's plug and play baby, yeah. Swinging Fabdos is now going through its boot phase. Yeah. So it'll do shit like this. Austin Powers 2000. Yeah, it's supposed to be like, like a PC um, DOS thing. Well, I did, but... It always does this. I think it's it doesn't really check for errors. Yeah, look, errors detected. Please press any button to fix errors. It will do that anyways. It's just part and part of what it is. So yeah, it's like um yeah, like um an operating system based parody of a game. No, parody of an operating system on a game. So you got Austin Powers, uh, OB Hate, and you got Doctor Evil's Welcome to My Underground Lair. So you got the uh, you got him making stupid fucking faces here. What's this? So you can choose the background color. And we'll see if the more you affect it. stuff like this. Yeah, that'll do nicely, I think. You can also... What's the position? What's that? Ah, I see. You can also change the, uh, the screen location. You can also choose a background. Yeah, it's basically, yeah, it's basically this. I'll quickly flick through them just because... I'll say it's a bit like the Transformers games, you know, where you got the Autobots and then the Decepticons version of the game. It's a bit cheeky to do that. Imagine paying like 20 quid for this, because you're a real big Austin Powers fan and thinking, oh fuck, there's a Doctor Evil one I need to get, I've got to pay another amount of money for this. Mojo. Fucking hell, there's Ash on there. What the fuck? Oh my god, why? I'm just quickly flinging uh, flicking through it. Ugh. Ming T is actually a real band as well, by the way. Yeah, it's just a massive parody of itself. Okay, I'll stick with that one. That's a good one. Okay. So we got various different things. Obviously, we'll get to that bit last because. And that's the screensaver as well. If you press B, I'm not gonna lie, I do like that. So we got various programs. You've got. Uh, calculator, um, a typing thing. So the calculator is pretty. The shag. <laughs> the shagulator. So it's pretty easy. So let's just do. Uh, something easy. Five times four. Twenty. So that's, you know, it's. It's quite easy with that, you know. Um. Let's give it a hard one. 
155 plus. I don't know the answer to this, but I'm just. Oh! So he's actually really quick, to be fair. Why well, is Austin Powers just shoving his ass into our face? Right. You've also got the internet, which isn't actually the internet, by the way. Web Exposition version 1.10 dialing. So you get stuff like this, like austinpowers.htm. Austin Powers, Attached Man Mystery, Austin Powers, Despite Shackley, Origins, Cast, Productions, Credits, Hell. So you actually get to view the cast, so that's kind of cool. Of course, you can't type in your own web page. Let's have a look at help. Austin Powers 2000. How did they get away with that? To neutralize a virus. To neutralize a virus, you must go into DOS mode and enter in the secret password to kill the virus. The virus is like a germ and you need to use a word which will cure your operating system. The password about like a vaccine or medication to rid the virus from your Game Boy. Unfortunately, one of Dr. Hebel's henchmen destroyed the list of passwords that can be used to eradicate the virus. So you have to try out different words to see if they work. So yeah, it's a very basic concept. Um, so, obviously it's not the internet, it's just like a makeshift one. Let's go to Austin Pad. So you can save, load, erase, uh, send and receive. Oh, maybe you might be able to join up with another Game Boy and uh, do that, to be fair. So let's write. So I'm just going to call it a random fucking thing like that. So let's load. I didn't write cunt, what's that? I did. I wrote arse! Have I done this before? I must have wrote cunt on there before. Whoops. Let's see what it does when you send it. Unable to make a connection. Yeah, I think you have to connect the Game Boys together, but yeah, not bad. And if you've got a Game Boy printer, you can do that. So that's kind of cool. So like I said, very basic. What's this? Ah, right, look. Platform game. Austin Powers, international man of mystery in a platform game. Right, new game. Get ready, London Underground, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck happened? Why is there skulls and bones in the wall? And random cones moving around? So 
So I've got a camera. We've got police hat. Oh shit, I died. Wow, it's a one hit death on this. Okay. It's actually got the London Underground sign mode. Do they commit? What are you doing, Mark? You actually have the London Underground sign. I didn't think that was possible because of copyright and shit. Got a random steering wheel. More ammo. Well, there's no ammo counter on it, but. I've got his glasses, which he's already got. Every time he shoots, he blinks. That's kind of cool that he's got that. Oh! You know, I've just seen something. Is the exit bit? I think it's the time machine from the second film. Which out of my two is the favourite film. Um, out of the two. Oh, out of the two that this refers to. That's what I meant. I find the item pickups a bit odd. Oh, fuck me. Done it again. Yeah, very strange. I can't remember what the Pokemon's called, but that bottom bit on the right looks like that Pokemon. I know it's meant to be the time machine, but even still. And it's not a bad platform, it's just... There's more that could have been done. Like, why not have, like, Dr. Evil's henchmen running around? Surely that would make more sense. Come on, come on. Right. Come on! Oh, bollocks! Agent Report. Name Arse Roll. Oh, I, <laughs> I must have tried this before. I don't remember. Oh. Let's give it another go. Right, here we go. You have to shoot them pretty darn quick. even got Rockstar Games logo in the background, that's kind of cool. You've got a London bus, a cab, a car, another car. Ah, oh, fucked that up, didn't I? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I think we're near the time machine. I wonder how many levels there are in this, in this particular mini game. 
Right, I think I've worked it out. <laughs> then we got to turn the time machine on. Maybe I have to collect everything. I don't know, there is something about this game, I'm a bit... Wait, what? Why is there loads of mini-me's coming towards me? Ah, look! The time machine's now on. Fuck's sake. Oh! Yeah, there you go, look. Come on, come on, Austin, get to the time machine! That is weird that they fire little mini me's at you. I've got you now, Doctor Evil. Hmm, cool stuff. Okay. So you can. can there's actually more of it. Let's, I'm not going to play the next level. Let me punch your ticket. <laughs> So it is a different level. Oh shit, hang on. So that's good, it's like an app, you can put it to the back and stuff. Austin pads, your uh Domination, let's have a look. Yeah, it's like loads of little mini games now, look. So we can go wherever. So that's now become three. That zip it. <laughs> No! Ah! Oh. So basically, yeah, you keep going until one of you wins. So yeah, I think he's actually winning at the moment. Um, it's a very basic game, but it's nice to have like, little mini games like this, it really is. There you go, nice. Just turn the tables on him. And he's just fucked me over. www.shush.com, he, he just wrote on there. It went, disappeared a bit too quick. When a problem comes along, you must sip it. So yes, how many how many you clear in a in a row? So it's fifteen eleven now. Oh shit! He's just fucking he's just done me up like a kipper. Oh 
Oh, yes! Fuck you, Dr. Evil. And don't tell me to go to www.shush.com. Right, let's go here. Ah, uh, that did not go to plan, actually. I thought that'd be different, but okay. I think we're going to lose this one. You know, the game is actually this vast. I might have to do two separate episodes, you know. Or I might just do an extra long... Ah, oh, an extra long one. Fuck it. Oh, that was a fucking good move. Oh god, he just crippled me. Crap. Ooh, that was a nice one. Shit, I think he's actually won, you know. <gasps> yeah, he's trashed. There is no way now. He's done. Yep, and that's obviously the, a basic game of domination. So yeah, you can do like all the other stuff. So... So let's back out of here. Damn. Groovy stuff. Colour scheme. Ah, so you can pick uh, a random taskbar. See, that's really cool. You can pick a cursor. See, that's kind of cool. Ah, you just got the sound options. That's fine. Right, so let's go back to the main menu. Different games. So you got Rock, Paper, Scissors, the Mojo Maze, and yeah, Domination. So let's do Rock, Paper, Scissors. Threw me a freaking stone. <laughs> New game. Yep, one player. So we can select an opponent now. So we've got Dr. Evil, Fat Bastard. Number two, Patty O'Brien, Foul Farbissina, Random Task, Mustafa. Ooh, no mini me though. Hmm, okay. Let's do Fat Bastard. Oh, fuck me. Let's pick a rock. You are too slow, you lose. Ah. 
You have to do it on the green light. Yes, we beat that bastard. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. We'll do one more game. So I wonder if Manini's been partnered up with Dr. Evil. He has, right. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, Doki Evil is being a dick. Right, won that one. So, yeah, very simplistic games, to be fair. Shit. I'm gonna try scissors again. Crap. Damn. Shit. Yeah, very basic game. Pretty good, actually, though. Not bad. And last, the Mojo Maze. So get ready, we're in Dr. Evil's lair. So yeah, we have to collect these... Um, ...male symbols. Had Mojo, we have no longer got Mojo. Mojo. Oh fuck, that weird blobby thing's after me. Oh shit. Ah, so it's like Pac Man, so whenever you get like Mojo, you, uh, you can kill those blobs. Very simplistic in nature. It's got all this other stuff in it. Oh god. Oh, hello. Oh no! Another fact, he just cries. Holy shit. We're doing pretty good, we're collecting a lot of the uh, symbols. There's a key. Ah, so we've gained access to another part of the maze. There's another key. Fuck me. Shit, he's gone turbo. Oh, is that a giant plant? You know what? I saw another key over here. Ah, oh, bollocks. Weird characterizations of uh, Austin Powers, but all the danger, magma. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. You must have. 
was about to say, you must have four quadrants, but... I don't actually know. Oh, I see. Yeah, so... It just, it's just going to repeat itself. Yeah, very, 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 very simplistic in nature. But that's not a bad thing. Um... I don't know. Anyway, that was the maze, though. Not bad. It's like a bit of a jumble, but I think to have these games, you have to be a real dedicated fan. And I mean dedicated. Um, what's Fabdos? Ah, oh, it's the bit we had at the beginning. Right. So that was that game. I'm going to give my verdict at the end of it. Oh, shit. Because they're technically one and the same game. Yeah, Dr. Evil game produced by Tarantula. Evil DOS. Game Boy CPU at 8 gigahertz. Fucking hell. I will have it liquidated. <laughs> you cycloptic twit. Doctor Evil two thousand. Of course, I didn't. Yeah, it, it always comes up with stuff like this. Um, but as you can see, virtually the same. And if I chose background... Yeah, you got various different ones. I'm just skipping through them quick, just because there's a lot of... Need a nice play on. We'll have, we'll have that. We'll have that. It's the same. It's the exact same process. Uh, you know, background colour, you know, all that. So you still got the calculator, the interweb, and the friculator. I'm just opening it to see if it's any different. If not, we'll back out of it. Mm. Yeah, not much difference. Let's just do five times four. Yep, standard. Uh, let's check the uh, the internet because. 
That had like the cast and the films and shit. Oh, that is bad, isn't it? It's the exact same as the other one. It's the exact same apart from the top banner. The evil launch pad. Put none in there. It's the exact same. It is the exact same. I think that's quite cheeky of them to be honest to do that. Colour scheme. Claret red. Well, claret's another word for blood. Yes, yeah, the exact same stuff. Let's see if the games are any different. So you've still got rock, paper, scissors, the mojo maze, and domination. Well, let's just take a quick look at. Uh, wait, is this the exact same, or do you get like Austin Powers' friends? So this is the exact same. Oh, that's actually really bad. That is actually really bad, isn't it? I'm a bit annoyed you to, you, you'd have had to have bought two separate cartridges. I mean, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. I mean, I actually own the uh, Welcome to My Underground Layer cartridge. So I actually own that. But even still, imagine that. You're a big Austin Powers fan. Oh my god, this is coming out. But there's another one, and you buy both, and you realise they're both the same game with a little bit of uh, tweaking here and there. It's bloody bad, isn't it? Like, Domination will be the same, so there's no point. And let's check the Mojo Maze. It's still in Doctor Evil's lair. Oh, that is bad. All they've done is change the... His fucking head's massive, by the way. All they've done is change the symbols, but the enemies are the same. The layout is the same. The objective is the same. That is bad. Yes, yeah, the exact same layout. And why would Dr. Evil be getting Mojo? He used the Mojo once. His essence, basically. Austin Powers' essence. And uh, he porked Frau Frubissima. Jesus Christ. Look what you did to Mr. Big What's Kin Evil? Dr. Evil, he's Kin Evil. This could be fun. I'm the boss, need the info. Okay, this is actually kind of fun. It's like a trial bike. Uh, that game that used to be on the internet. And I think they made a couple of video games of it afterwards. Oh, kill Dr. Evil. Right, here we go. Ah, oh, damn, I forgot to tell what to do. Damn. Alright, let's just get over here. Why is he laughing? You just, you just killed him.
Oh, for fuck's sake. It's just this one little bit. I just want to complete a level. They actually sold figures of the Austin Powers crew, uh, group even. Um, and one of the sets you could get was Doctor Evil and Mini Me on the little scooter thing. Do I just pick up that chair that launched him? Ah, oh, god damn. Well, again, that's where I'll, I'll leave that game, because otherwise we'll be here forever trying to try that. It's a good game, though, actually. That's all right, that one. Look what you did to Mr. Big Movie clip. barely read watch that even right well that's basically the game um is it worth it hell fucking no 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 like you could play one of them and basically get 90 percent of the stuff anyways like i got the i fair enough i bought the cartridge but i got that off a boot sale for two pounds that's better than imagine getting that brand new and then get Oh, what were they thinking? But no, it is not fucking worth it. Would I re recommend you try it? If you really want to, give it a go. But no fucking way. I, I just wouldn't. It's a waste of time. It It's shit. And guess what? This isn't the only Austin Powers game. There's another. We'll do that in a separate video, though. It might be better. It might not be. It's Austin Powers Pinball. I think it's going to be shit, personally. But again, we'll see what happens. Anyways, that's all for me now. I will see you next time.